We do a lot of work with MBRP here at Dirt Tracks uh, and we've used their exhaust systems on countless vehicles over the years. We've had Jared on our show countless times, but today we've got something very unique and different both in the industry and for MBRP, something brand new, and it is called an active exhaust. If you're a motorhead who is into cars, you've probably read about this type of system before, but this is a first for side-by-sides and I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to have a look at it, to hear it, see how it works, and then of course, feel how it performs. So Jared, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the history of this system? Where did this idea come from? And you know, how did it all come about? We've always kind of tried to give the customer an option, whether you are doing you know, performance or sport, you know, trailer race if you're in a snowmobile, um, but to really kind of key in this here, you know, as our exhaust technology has evolved, um, we've included active uh, systems into our automotive side. So what we have here today is our all new uh, Razor Active Exhaust. And um, this is mounted on a Pro XP, but you have this for other models as well. Will this fit on a Pro R? Uh, this one, not yet, but we are jumping into development of the Pro R okay. here soon. So I uh, can only imagine that that's something we're gonna carry over to that platform. Sweet. Um, the X3 is also something we have this ready to go as well too. Excellent. Um, so to jump into some of the details of the kit, we took off the rear shroud. The nice thing is that this will actually fit back in place. Just like so? Just like that. Look at that, okay. There you go, perfect fitment. But uh, to kind of really show the beauty of the kit, um, it will pick it up right here at your three bolt flange. It's so all- So your head pipe is stock? Correct, yeah. Uh, this one actually in particular in this machine is actually an MBRP head pipe you can purchase separately. You'll notice that this is a full 304 stainless kit and exiting into some really nice uh, carbon fiber uh, tips here as well. The cool thing is, is that with the laser cut brackets and everything, it utilizes the factory mounting locations. So you're not gonna have to cut or weld or anything like that. The concept of being able to have a vehicle that is darn close to stock sound for those sensitive times when you're in your neighborhood or you're driving through the main street of a town or yeah. whatever where you want it to be a lot more manageable and a lot easier to take yeah not tick people off you have that option but then when you get out on the trail or out in the dunes or wherever you are you want to have that awesome sound that mbrp is so well known for yeah but also that extra high flow performance mm -hmm. one button does both. And the nice thing is, as you mentioned about the control, that the system comes with that too. So your switch, the wiring and everything too is very easy to install. When it's in normal mode, you'll notice it has a nice deeper tone, definitely over stock, but not overbearing as we talked about. Mm -hmm. And then once you jump into that aggressive or the sport mode, uh, it is a quite a bit of a difference, which is nice too. I mean, some other manufacturers you might get, you know, it might be a finite difference. Here we've made to kind of exaggerate the fact that, you know, it, it is a clear normal and sport mode. Let's just get down here and talk a little bit about how this works because we see the I'm going to call it a butterfly valve, but you called it an exhaust valve is right here For sure. with a baffle system that flips open and closed there. So it's actually <laughs> at the exit of the exhaust. Correct. Explain to me how the flow pattern works with the two different sides of this. For sure. So when you have the valve closed, it'll obviously snake through the exhaust and exit uh, on the bottom here. So it only exits out of one tip versus the other. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, right. that's correct. Yeah, and then when you actually have it uh, open, it's rather much more free, uh, free flowing through the top here as well. That's a pretty unique way of doing it. Yeah, no, for sure. And I mean, that's kind of something we do uh, similar to what we do on automotive side as well too. So we really want to make sure we get that perfect balance between sound and obviously flow as well. Uh, ultimately uh, performance at the end of the day. When we test this, our big thing is you don't actually need a fuel program or anything to run. So when we're measuring this in the dyno, we're measuring air fuel ratios and everything too. So it's not gonna run it into a lean condition, even though we are giving it maximum flow. What are the performance gains with this system? And I think, there, I think there's more than just performance in terms of horsepower. I mean, this has to still be lighter than stock. For sure, yeah, no, this was, I mean, obviously uh, being a much lighter exhaust, you are gonna get a bit more performance too. Um, when we measured on the dyno, you know, we're gonna give you an honest number. That's something that MBRP has always been true about. Um, at the wheel, we're seeing like a couple extra horsepower. Um, you know, I'm not gonna tell you five or 10, it is a true honest uh, few horsepower that you're gonna see at the wheel. You know, we always wanna try and be that leading edge of, you know, being mindful, not only the consumers that are purchasing these, but also, you know, the areas that you're riding in and giving you that option or at least that choice to make 
per condition. You know, um, where we're going to be riding today, obviously there's going to be certain areas, yeah, we can run it right open. I mean, other areas that we're probably going to want to close it and still have that good sound, but nothing overbearing. So, you know, it's all about that power to choose.